it's necessary to estimate the settle out pressure of a compressor, a natural gas compressor, centrifugal or recip, in order to determine what is the normal range of suction pressure and sometimes also to um, establish the expected pressure ranges for uh, equipment on the suction piping, such as a scrubber that might be rated to a lower pressure than the rest of the discharge side of the system. So uh, I've developed a new application that uh, solves for the settle out pressure of a typical um, centrifugal compressor or, or recip for that matter uh, configuration. Basically what it's doing is solving for the mass in the system when the unit's in normal operation and then distributing that mass through the entire um, piping network between check valves uh, in the settle out condition. So the pro program is called Settle Out and it's available on my website, uh, no charge, free download. The way this program works, uh, the first thing you would do is uh, define the gas composition. So in this tab, uh, we're defining the gas composition. The second step is to define the volumes in the three zones. So the first zone is the suction uh, section and the boundary of the suction section should be the upstream check valve. So in this sketch that's not shown, it's shown really um, assuming the boundaries at these uh, shutdown valves, but really the valves are so slow that uh, the unit's going to settle out before the valves uh, would go closed. So what you should be looking for to establish the boundary of the suction volume is the upstream uh, check valve that would prevent flow uh, going in the reverse direction of normal. The next two sections are on the discharge side of the compressor. So zone two is the uh, hot discharge between the compressor flange and the discharge cooler. Zone three is after the discharge cooler and up to the um, fast op and uh, anti-surge valves. If it were to have a hot bypass arrangement, uh, still the same idea. You would uh, basically be looking to delineate these zones by temperature on the discharge side, uh, basically halfway through the discharge cooler. Upstream, again, we're looking for the discharge check valve delineating this volume, uh, also not shown. And that's typically going to be just somewhere downstream of the uh, discharge cooler, maybe upstream of the uh, shutdown valves, maybe downstream. So you would uh, solve these volumes using your um, isometric drawings or worst case scenario, having to walk down the piping system and take measurements. The compressor itself, its volume is quite small. And I typically estimate that uh, just as a third of the volume of the um, external dimensions of the compressor casing. You could probably just ignore it, but uh, that's what I do. So you'd have uh, volumes in the three sections and a total volume. Now in the analysis tab, we enter the pressures and temperatures in running condition of each of these zones. So we have uh, suction pressure and temperature, and it gives us the density and the mass. So these are calculated values. The next zone, uh, pressure and temperature, and again, the calculated density and mass, and finally zone three. So in this case, we have a discharge cooler set point of 120 degrees Fahrenheit. The um, total mass is shown here, and that's the total density. So these two numbers aren't going to change if there are no changes uh, anywhere in here. And here is the uh, calculated settle out pressure at this particular assumed settle out temperature. So this is really the trickiest part of the whole analysis is trying to do, um, solve what the settle out uniform or averaged temperature over the entire system is. And what this uh, solver does is it assumes that that settle out temperature is just equal to the averaged temperature by volume. So the um, volume averaged temperature. And, and why do I uh, choose that strategy? Because I'm assuming the metal temperatures are driving the settle out temperature. And the volume is representative of the mass of metal in each section. So simply the um, sum of the temperatures, absolute temperatures times the volumes, divided by the total volume, and that's your settle out temperature. So this is kind of a critical number, um, and it you know isn't. I, I assume there's going to be some air. This is a, a pretty crude estimate. 
if you find that the, you end up with, well, if you want to vary the temperature and see how sensitive the result is to this temperature, you can just simply change it. And it'll calculate a new settle out pressure based on that uh, new temperature. And likewise, you can change uh, any of the values um, in the system and um, it'll update in real time. So you'll get uh, updated numbers here whenever you make any changes. So that's the uh, settle out uh, application. I hope you find it useful.